it is. There it is, guys. Shell Swallowtail. Yes. Yes, that's it. That's a shell. That's a shell swallowtail. Where is it? Shell swallowtail laying eggs on wild lime, guys. There it is, guys. That's it. That's it. Laying eggs. Oh, I'm letting the egg right there. All right, guys. This trail right here is a trail that. I saw my very first shell swallowtail on this trail. It was probably 17 years ago. Uh, so I'm really not sure what to expect because I don't really come down this trail very often. Yeah, I know. I know this little these little structures are wood rat um, attempts at wood rat houses. So the shell swallowtails actually live in the in the hammock. They they they're not like normal swallowtails that fly out in the open sunshine, whatever. They actually live in the thick of the hammock. This this thing here has got spines on it. Careful! Ow! Oh yeah. Jeez. Oh, that one has spikes. Be careful. Yeah, that one's got spikes. Be careful. <laughs> yeah, that's why I, have... I get it right in my thigh. That's why I thought it was wild lime. Was that's uh, much. that's the host plant for the tantalus sphinx. What is that? The little if the sphinx, the day flying sphinx with the little white band on the abdomen. Huh. Good one. Oh, look at that one right there. What's that? It's in your head. It's coming yeah. out of your head. <laughs> nice in your buddy. No way. Nice. Oh, hey, spider. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't hit, hit you. <laughs> I kind of like you. <laughs> she hung right on, huh? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What do I see? I see a shadow. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What do I see? I see a shadow. There it is. There it is, guys. Shell swallowtail. Actually? Yes. Yes, yes that's it. That's not that's a shell. That's a shell swallowtail. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Where is it? I thought it would be a little more. Slow, 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 slow. Oh yeah. Honestly, I guys, <laughs> shell swallowtail, laying eggs on wild lime, guys. There it is, guys. That's it. That's it. Laying eggs. Oh, I'm letting her lay egg right there, on wild lime, guys. Let's take advantage of this, guys. This is one of the rarest butterflies in in the United States right here, guys. Oh, it's so cool. Oh. That is amazing. Nice and quick, it'll be quick. Shell swallowtail. That's it, man. Beautiful female specimen. No, it's perfectly fresh. Fresh. Fresh, fresh specimen. Very fresh. That's the color. Come on. Oh, she's laying eggs. Yep. Shouse. Okay, guys. There she is. The shell swallowtail. Guys, what I'm looking at right now is one of the rarest butterflies in North America. This is the shell swallowtail, guys. 
It's been a long time since I've seen one. But guys, we're going to go on an adventure through the hammock in North, North Key Largo, Crocodile Lake National Wildlife Refuge. And we're going to look for these beauties. Look at this thing. Shell swallowtail, guys. There it is. Oh, man, it's so cool. I still see her. She's coming back. Is she? Kind of. Do you see her? I see her. <clears throat> yeah, I, I care. There was a Phoebus agarithi. Okay, guys, now she's on a torchwood tree now. Look at her, look at her. Don't move, don't move. Where'd she go? Well, the video I'm getting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at this. You can't get any closer than that. But my iPhone camera is not the best at focusing here, guys. Can you see it? You see GoPro. GoPro? Yeah. Here, let me try this. Here. Thing. All right, there's my son. Oh. Don't move the plants. Because she'll, she'll scare. There's my son videoing a shall swallowtail, guys. I'm so proud. <laughs> Where did it go? Where did it go? That's all right. Uh, if I get if I get some clear video, my, my my phone was having a real hard time focusing. Real hard time. Okay, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. You know where? You see him? All right, guys. We see in Shouse number two. Oh, I see him. I see him. I see him. Nice and slow. Number two. Number two, guys. All right, guys, shall swallowtail number two. Another female, she's laying eggs on this torchwood tree here in the hammock. I'm reaching up as high as I can. Nice, 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 nice. Beautiful, bro. Ricky saw that one. Congrats, dude. Shall Swallowtail. Yes, sir. What do you think, man? It's a beauty right there. Can you, can you grasp the uh, the severity of the rareness of this bug? Like, am, am I am I making it uh, dramatic enough? I mean, I, don't, I mean, we just saw two of them. I mean... <laughs> it's not that rare. Come on. Man. It's not that rare. <laughs> let's go Let's go hunt this girl down. Oh, She's... Shit. You still see her? Yeah, it's on the right. On your right. To the right? Well, this is supposed to be one of the best years for this. Yeah, supposedly, let's go get some video of this girl. Supposedly, guys, this is one of the best years, according to Jeremy Dixon, the refuge manager of Crocodile Lake National Wildlife Refuge. It's one of the best years for shallow swallowtails in the last 20 years. So there's another one, guys, right up here. We're going to go video it right now. Lorenzo's sneaking up on it. Oh, she, he's nectaring. He's nectaring. That's a boy? That. No, it's the same one. Oh, Nectaring on wild coffee. Nice and slow. Slow, 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 slow. Slow, slow. 
nectaring on wild coffee. Don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move. Oh. What? Drinking coffee, it's a coffee drinker. Yeah, it's a, hey, Lorenzo just found a, a link between this butterfly and me. He says it's a coffee drinker. It's nectaring on wild coffee. <laughs> oh man, here he comes. I was flying, but something landed on the tree right there. It's uh, something else here. The oh, there's a Florida white. Oh, Florida white and a wild, and a, go ahead, buddy. The shall swallowtail. <laughs> Look at him. Good job, buddy. You're filming, right? Yes. Oh, it's so cool. It's five it, minutes he, and fifty three. He's on. He's on. Okay. There's a female Julia. I don't think that's what Ricky was talking about. Female Julia. She's got some miles on her. Yeah. She's got some miles on her. All right, guys, we are we are still in pursuit of the shall swallowtail in its natural habitat, the tropical hardwood hammocks of North Key Largo in South Florida. Um, the University of Florida, in combination with the state of Florida and the federal government with the uh, um, Crocodile Lake National Wildlife Refuges um, have done a great have done a great job guys of planting torchwood and wild lime in and around these hammocks guys and if you look through these hammocks the understory is actually you know there's just leaves and you got to be careful if you're walking around on it because it's like cor rock coral and stuff like that but th there's it's pretty open I mean Without getting your face in banana spider webs, uh, this is the habitat that the shall swallowtail fly around. They kind of float in and through these hardwood hammocks. Uh, they're not out in the sunlight, direct sunlight, like most swallowtail species. Like you would think of a tiger swallowtail or a spice bush swallowtail or a zebra swallowtail. They're out in the fields on, on the forest edges and they're on flowers out there. Guys, not the shouse. The shouse is in the hammocks, in, in the shadows. They fly in and weave really slowly in and out of the trees. And in fact, they fly so slow. It's almost like they know I'm endangered and protected. You can't touch me. So they, we have this female. Guys, look at the footage we got of this female, Shouse Swallowtail, sitting right in front of us, laying eggs on wild lime, on torchwood, nectaring on uh, wild coffee right in front of us without a care in the world. Guys, check this out. Number two, guys. One, two, three. Slow, slow. Don't move too hard. Good eye, Ricky. Heck yeah. Oh, oh slow mo. Oh. Beautiful, bro. Nectaring on wild coffee. Don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move. Oh. Oh, 
There you go. Guys, one of the rarest butterflies in the world, right here. Shall fall into it. Indeed. We are approaching the schwa shop. Shall fall into it. Good job, buddy. You're filming, right? Yes. Oh, so cool. It's five minutes and 53 He's seconds. On. He's on. I can't wait to see how the GoPro picks that up. It's right, you're getting that right in front of him. Yeah. And guys, that's it. I mean, it's. So cool. We're going to continue looking to see if we find more, but I'm so psyched that we got to see a female shao swallowtail in its natural habitat in North Key Largo. We're getting eaten alive here, but we're, I'm so happy. So um, I have a feeling that the males might patrol the, the, the uh, hammock edges. So we're going to try and go out to the missile site, which is a little further north of here and walk up and down the, the main road there and see if we see any males on the roadside. Uh, the females definitely hang out in the understory looking for host plants to lay eggs on. That's what we saw her doing. So, guys, let's continue our search for the shao swallowtail. This, these are the blooms of the Jamaican dogwood, guys. And this is the host plant, the nat native host plant for the hammock skipper. And, you know, in the spring, they go into full bloom like this. And they flush out all new leaves. And this is what the best time of the year to find hammock skipper caterpillars because they have all this fresh leaves on here. Um, unfortunately, I don't see a whole lot of, of damage on these leaves. I see a couple eatings here. But I'm not seeing... What I would say is, come on, man, where are the skipper caterpillars? Usually, hammock skipper caterpillars in North Key Largo, guys, are usually pretty easy to find on this stuff. Well, at least I found a, a beetle. Look. Find a beetle? A weevil. 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 <laughs> yeah. I, I... On the blooms there. All right, guys, let's see what butterflies we can find at the good old Nike missile site. Now that the sun's come up a little bit. We've got some, uh, oh, there's a swallowtail down, oh, down the trail. No, no, no. I saw a swallowtail down the trail, I think. Let's see. I thought I saw a putty tat. I thought I saw a putty tat. Oh no, it was a bird. It was a bird. Unless, I see orange butterflies. Yeah, that's a great beetle. Good eye, Ricky. Uh, that is a great beetle, guys. Great, great longhorn beetle. We're gonna see if we can get some pictures of this guy. All right, guys, another butterfly species for the trip. The ever-present and common zebra longwing is floating around back there. Gosh. Ah. Uh. Zebra long wing. Okay. 
All right, guys, right in here. Oh, that's a big one. Jamaican dogwood. We've got He's hammock skipper. Spitting something. Yeah, he spits a little green stuff to try and scare people away. Mm -hmm. But that's that's a fourth instar. Yeah. Yep. He's on a little little Jamaican dogwood tree. And this here's a. You know, when they're smaller, they make these little tents like this. They roll them over. When they get bigger, oh, there's a big one from here. you find another big one. Mm -hmm. There we go. All right, well, that's cool. Hammock skippers. I'm glad at least we saw them because I was wondering what the heck. I haven't seen any hammock skipper caterpillars. But that one little plant right there has like six or seven of them on it. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Last spot in the refuge that we're going to check. This is the historic cockfighting arena. And we are going, we are just saw another first butterfly. It's uh, Gulf Artillery. We're going to walk down this trail a little bit and just see if any shall swallowtail would grace us with their presence. I'd love to see a nice male come out and nectar on the flowers. We've seen, we've seen confirmed two females for sure. And uh, we'd love to see a male and get the uh, full gamut on on video, but we'll see how it goes. Even if it's like a 16 foot python? Even Going on a python hunt is on my bucket list. Yeah, you grab a 10 foot python? I would, I would jump on top of him. Look at this beautiful Julia. <laughs> That's a beauty. Lots of Julia's. Saw some Cassius Blues. They're letting this get overgrown here. There's a lot of wild coffee here. You'd think, and there's some, another Cassius Blue flying around the coffee. Yeah, Cassius Blue. Wow, this is really getting overgrown. This used to be open, guys. Wow. They're letting this fill in to become hammock. This was the cockfighting arena right here. Yeah. I this, remember this. This used to be open. There used to be a state, little tiny little bleacher thing over here, and they used to fight roosters right here. Once upon a time ago. It's not cool. It's Wait, very. We used to fight roosters. People breaking the law. What is this? Spider? No, that could be a caterpillar, bro. Or a spider. Is there somebody in there? <laughs> Something. Somebody yeah. jump. Uh, well, gentlemen, if we're not seeing anything. If you want deer. If you want deer flies, this is the place. Oh, there's a Florida white. Oh, okay. It's so funky. Yeah, look. I can't right. see oh, look, 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 look. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. We should add some fighter pilot uh, uh, <laughs> audio on that. We should just get Ricky to make it. <laughs> yeah. That's some noise. Indy 500. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez.